Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to the video on this 2014 Ford F-150. This particular F-150 is the STX trim level, gives you some nice extras on the outside of the truck, including that uh, body colored front grille, the body colored lower bumper there, as well as that STX badging in the rear. It is powered by the 5.0 liter V8 engine from Ford. Uh, it's one of their longest lived, uh, considered one of the most reliable engines in the truck lineup. This is the last year of the steel body truck. So if you're looking for a truck that has the entire steel body, this is the last year you can get that. 2014 was last year they made it, and then switched to an all aluminum body in 2015. Uh, this one is also in exceptionally good shape. If you take a look at this front bumper there, a lot of times they have rust on them, things like that, uh, because it is all steel. Um, but this particular one, no rust across that front bumper. Uh, I'll show you the underside of the, uh, the vehicle here later in the video. Uh, but let's start uh, moving our way around here. Those, uh, those 18 inch uh, rims are mounted up with general grabber tires. These, according to multi point inspection, have 14 30 seconds of tread, so that's nearly brand new. They probably come with about 15 on them, uh, so that's almost a brand new tire there. Your F 115 STX badging here, these nice aftermarket chrome mirror caps give the truck a little bit of flair, as well as those factory chrome running boards down low. It is the five and a half foot bed length from Ford. There are two bed lengths on the crew cab trucks, five and a half and six and a half. Um, you'd be surprised how much more maneuverable this five and a half foot bed is. So if you don't need need the six and a half foot bed, this one's a lot easier to maneuver in and out of parking spaces and in tight areas than the other one is. Um, coming down low, you do have a trailer hitch with both the four and seven pin wiring hookups. Body colored rear bumper, also part of that STX package. Matching general grabber tire there. Also your chrome boards again. On the inside of the mirror on the driver's side, you'll see this little blind spot segment. Just helps you to see what's in your blind spot without having to crane your head. Nice feature there. Taking a look in the front, all of your power windows, locks, and mirrors are laid out in a standard fashion here on the door, um, as well as child window lockouts. Coming over here, you can see it is a uh, manual lumbar adjustment, manual seat tilt, and manual seat uh, forward backwards. There's a little rip in that seat. Uh, we'll probably try to have that stitched up here. Uh, before the truck gets to the lot. Taking a look at the lights, um, it is uh, just manual light controls uh, as well as your fog lights if you pull this out, your fog lights come on. Instrument cluster brightness also here on the left hand side of the wheel. It is all vinyl floors, uh, super super easy to clean this truck out, back it out, wipe it out and you're good to go. Uh, no scrubbing required. Two keys here. We do sell all our vehicles at All Things Automotive with two keys. Engine fires up, sounds really good. It's one thing that's nice about that V8 engine, it's really got a good sound, uh, good sound in it. It does have 51,246 miles. It's just under the market average. Actually, it's a good bit under the market average of 56,000 uh, miles that are on most of the trucks around at this point. Give one second here to turn down the... Alrighty, um, looking over here, do have the uh, cruise control items here on the left hand side of the wheel volume controls over here on this side I'll just turn that off um, as well as Bluetooth items um, coming over here four-wheel drive selector here uh, aftermarket head unit from Pioneer does have uh, both the XM radio capability Bluetooth capability as well as HD radio um, coming down here pretty standard climate controls also down here are your 12 volt auxiliary and USB plugs Additional 12 volt found over here. Taking a look inside the glove compartment, you will find the multi point inspection sheet tells you what we did to it while it was in our shop, as well as all of the key wearable measurements. So, we did add a uh, new cabin air filter to the truck down here, an oil change, and a new engine air filter. Over here, we did rotate the tires, and they are all 14 30 seconds, so they are almost brand new. And we replaced all the brake pads and all the brake rotors. So your wearable parts on this truck are almost all completely brand new. You shouldn't have to worry about those for years to come under normal driving conditions. So got a lot of life left there. Last part of the video, I'm just going to try to show you any dents, dings, or imperfections on the truck. Did already show you that little tear on the driver's seat there. Um, like I said, we're going to try, probably try to get that stitched. Um, that way it's not coming apart further. But it's just a little bit of normal, normal cloth wear there on the seat. Continuing up to the front end, a uh, couple little chips there on the hood. Not very big ones, but there are a few that are present there. Everything else looks pretty good. Like I said, that lower bumper, no rust or anything on it. It's pretty, pretty excellent looking there. You don't see a whole lot of them in that good of shape. Um, 
this side of the truck looks pretty good. At this point, I'll get under, show you that underside of the truck here. Um, so your frame rails and everything obviously do have some surface. It's just starting on the welds there. That's pretty typical of a Pennsylvania truck. Um, but overall, super good looking. Um, body panels, once again, just a tiny, tiny bit of surface rust starting right at the edges. Um, but overall, this just truck's in excellent shape. It's in a lot better shape than you're gonna find a lot of the steel bodies in. So if uh, steel body, if this body style is your thing, this truck's in excellent condition. Uh, come continue around the back. Everything looks pretty good back here as well. Don't really see any dense stains or imperfections to point out. Inside of the bed looks pretty clean there. Nice spray and bed liner in there. A couple little marks on top of the frame rails, or excuse me, on top of the bed rails. Looks pretty good up through here as well. Super sharp truck, especially on the outside with that STX package. If you'd like to come out and take a look at it, you can stop and see us. 21518 Great Cove Road in McCallsburg, Pennsylvania. Visit us online at thomasata.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you found it to be informative.